going to show you everything I got and exactly what kind of craft I'm going to attempt to make. Um, I ended up spending, well I bought some other stuff there too, but I ended up spending one, two, three, I think four, four dollars on it I think. So I had one of the things at home already, but let's get started. First off, I bought at the Dollar Tree, they have these really nice floral foam wreaths that um, are actually pretty sturdy, so I thought we would try this. I have did wreaths with like the wooden wreaths, and I have tried, I think I've tried a wire wreath, but I've never tried a foam. So this is what we're going to attempt, because this is about the size I wanted. And what I'm hoping to make is a wreath for our front door. I had a wreath at our old house, but I ended up liking it a lot and I actually keep it inside in our room here and I didn't really want anything to happen to it from the weather. So I decided let's make a new one. And so I'm going to attempt, I've seen this uh, a couple times on YouTube I think of people making it. It's the floral moss you can get at the Dollar Tree and you basically are going to cover the wreath in it. And I've seen some people have great results, some people it doesn't shed at all and it looks really cute. Other people like they barely shake their wreath and it just falls everywhere. So we're gonna try and see. Um, I also thought it would be really pretty to add some flowers and so after hunting around my boys helped me pick out these. They're just those larkspurs but they're just really pretty yellow flowers with the white on them and everything. So we're gonna try that and then something I already had in our house was from the Dollar Tree also is the twine tool twine stuff just have this I'm gonna see if maybe I can make either the hook part with it or just kind of incorporate it and the last thing which I've never seen there before is they've had like I've got moss all over my bed now they um they usually have like these decoration balls and stuff but I've never seen these little tiny so cute kind of creamish colored ones they're so cute so I thought I'd try to kind of incorporate it maybe with the flowers I'm not sure yet We'll see. I'm pretty much making this up as I go. But if it turns out nice, that'd be cool. And if it doesn't, well, we'll have a nice cheap wreath. All right, so I've got the wreath here. I'm going to have to take the sticker off. And I'm going to begin setting this aside with the moss. And so I've heard people say one package can do the whole entire wreath. And so I'm now realizing I'm going to regret not having something under this to catch all the excess moss. I should probably find a bag. Ta-da! The art of the internet. You can skip ahead and show. I now have bags underneath it. And so over here I've got my hot glue gun heating up and let's get started. <music> basic like base of it covered and so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to cover all the sides and the inner part and then I'm just going to kind of fill in these gaps and I've just been kind of like banging it and shaking it and lightly pulling to get the pieces that are loose off but so far so good. <laughs>
this is how it turned out. You can really add as much moss as you want. I didn't, I decided not to cover the back just because I wouldn't see it. But I just tried doing a good, thorough coat, I guess you'd say. So now let's begin with the flowers. Okay, so I've just taken all of the flowers off of the stem from over here and kind of laid them all out. I took the greenery out too. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but we'll see. And then I also got out the cute little balls that I'm going to figure out how to incorporate into this. And then I'm thinking the twine will be probably a way of hooking it up. So let's see how this goes. <music> of the twine and measuring them all the same length I'm gonna hook them all together and that will be the hook to hold the wreath onto the door so I just glued the back of the twine to the back of the wreath and pick it up we have an extremely cute spring summertime wreath it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would so I was able to make this whole thing for $5 plus the hot glue and the glue gun. I think it looks pretty good. I really like how it turned out. It's simple, it's springtime, but I think it can kind of transition into summer. It's nice and small, not heavy or anything, and I was able to make the whole thing for five bucks. So I think if you're looking to have a wreath for your door but don't have a lot of money and want something simple but pretty, the Dollar Tree seems to be a great way to go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you come back for my next video.